This is the Mobile App Minute, a weekly look at how to market your mobile app in a noisy world. Here are your hosts, Rob Woodbridge and Peggy Ann Souls. This is the Mobile App Minute. My name is Rob. And I'm Peggy. And I have to say, Rob, we're not even at 10 shows yet, and it's just amazing. I'm getting so much positive feedback around the show. In case you didn't know it, I'm getting feedback from mobile ad companies who are telling me, you know, they're telling their staff to watch the show for helpful tips and hints. I'm serious. And even better, I have universities that not only have my app books on as course material, but they're telling their students to tune in so we can say hi to the students. Hello. I think that's awesome. Yeah, that's a that's uh, tough when uh, the words I say may influence a, you know a child's learning or a student's learning. That's not that's not so good. Just between you and I, don't tell them. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. PG thirteen. <laughs> PG thirteen. Right? I haven't sworn <laughs> once yet. Welcome everybody. Yes, it's been very exciting so far, and we got another great show. We're going to kick it off right now. So if you're like me and like Peggy and like the average smartphone user, you probably have about 40 apps. And according to Yodel Mobile, which is a full service mobile marketing agency, we, the average smartphone user, uses how many? Five. Five favorite apps every single week. Now, on, on, to add to this, Flurry, which is a, an incredible stats house. I think they were just bought by Yahoo. Um, yeah. They say that 80% of all apps that are downloaded are only used one time. This is terrible. So if you connect the dots, it's clear that the hard work doesn't stop when an app is downloaded. That is not the victory. App developers have to do more to engage with users and encourage them to use their apps more often, more times in a week. Peggy, what can they do? Well, this is it, Rob. This is why I've spent a lot of time and effort. I've written reports for GigaOM Research, um, also at Mobile Groove, talking about app engagement. That is really my topic because that's where it's at. That's going to make or break your app business. Not your download, your business. A business is more than a download. So with that in mind, you know, I've gone on about the push notifications in-app messaging, um, in-app chat, very excited about that too. But at the same time, there's also a place in your toolbox of capabilities for SMS, text messaging. It's been there for 25 plus years, just recently celebrating an anniversary, and it's still very effective. And I'd like to stress why, and one of those reasons is because when someone has deleted your app, you can still engage with them using text messaging. So with that in mind, what I'm doing is bringing back one of my white papers uh, that I wrote about text messaging for the simple reason that now it is pertinent again uh, because you can use it within your inbound communications, outbound communication strategy rather. So it's a part of that. And uh, the white paper I wrote is called Achieving App Impact, How to Encourage Mobile App Interaction and Engagement with SMS, underwritten by Tintech. And it's uh, more important than ever, as I said. And in it, I wrote that push messaging and text messaging were the dynamic duo of app engagement and marketing. And I stick to that. And I call it that because they extend together the life of your app. I thought you were going to say, Peggy, that the reason that SMS is so important is because of Tommy O'Honan's SMS rants. But really, why SMS? Well, part of it is Tommy. I mean, I'm, he's, a, he's a dear friend and colleague. I'm very influenced by him. And he's absolutely right about the power of text messaging. We use it on our smartphones. It's still very relevant. It's also the only way to reach people who have deleted your app because if they have opted in, then you have those records. You have a way, you know, if you were smart, you collected that information so that now you can re-engage them. So why text? Well, I told you it's ubiquitous. It's everywhere. We can use it. All of us can text. My grandmother can text, right? So number one, it's easy. It's simple. But a really important reason is also it's cheap because in most countries messaging costs just pennies or cents. So if you have a distinct audience that you have segmented and you want to target them, you can do that on a budget. And again, I said, you know, it's in our DNA and, and Tommy would laugh with us. He's uh, often been tweeting these stats about how often we tweet and when we tweet, you know, we have it before we go to bed. We get it when we get up in the morning. We, you know, we, we, are, we are using text and we are reading text uh, within, I think, uh, just seconds of receiving them. So connect the dots and what do you have here? You have a tool that is effective, that fits in with all the other tools. I want to say it's not one or the other. It's all together because it's all about a comprehensive outbound communication strategy for your app. 
All right, so what are some of the scenarios that you can use this dynamic duo and that make business sense, Peggy? Well, in the white paper that, uh, as I said, was underwritten by Tintech, we looked at some scenarios, and uh, what I did was I came up with what I call the three R's. So, R, relationship. So you can build a closer relationship with your users. You own their trust by talking to them, listening to them, using SMS to have a conversation. You gain permission. You deliver more messages. You deliver them what they appreciate. It goes around. It's a virtuous cycle. Next, second R is recommendation. Drive additional app sales by introducing an invite a friend program, for example. And, uh, Power that by SMS. You can empower your app users to be your app advocates by allowing them to spread the word. You can provide an easy way for them to encourage friends to take your app out for a spin. So you can use SMS to create an army of advocates for your app. And finally, the third R, reactivation, really key, what I've been saying, you can outreach to users who, are, who only open your app on occasion, or you can re-engage with them, or even if they've deleted it altogether, you can say, hey, I have value, I have a new app, I have some new features, check us out, and ultimately, that creates a conversation, and then customer loyalty. SMS is very important and it's part of, I just want to reiterate that it's such an important piece, but it's a small piece of a broader strategy and a broader plan. Mm -hmm. They fit well together. That's that's what I, I like the message that you got out of this is that it's not just one thing here that is going to lead to your success as an app developer. It's using all the tools that are available at the right place at the right time with the right message, right? Absolutely. It's about communication and CRM, the same as in most other verticals. Marketing is about having a voice. This gives your app a voice. Don't forget to come back next week for our next episode.